Good Morning Lancers. Cohorts A, B, and C are with me here today to start off our show. First, we have Darby Lee with an inside look at adopting some fuzzy little friends. Let's see. At the shelter and the shelter environment, I think my favorite part is finding homes or forever homes with, uh, for the animals. The County of San Diego Department of Animal Services makes it their mission to care for any animal in need of help. No matter how big or small, the volunteers and staff make it a priority to create an environment for any creature to thrive in. There are a lot of people at this shelter as well as our other shelter that have experienced kind of working with who everything. You're okay. We just, you know, do what we can to get everything set up and we'll just um, provide all of that um, for the animal. After speaking with Erica, I was given the opportunity to play with one of the puppies and interview another staff member who gave us his opinion on the pros of adoption. I think when you shop for an animal, people um, like the designer dogs and that's gonna pe make people wanna breed things that they shouldn't be breeding. Um, so you're gonna have irresponsible breeders because there's so much money in it. Um, I think when you adopt from here, you know, you get yourself a good animal and it's helping because this animal came generally for the most part from the streets. When people hear shelter animal, they always think the worst. Um, they think they're like, you know, street dogs or something, horrible dogs, aggressive dogs, dogs with medical issues. Um, the dogs we have here are all, for the most part, very sweet dogs, social dogs. If you're looking for a particular type of dog, you can find it here. Um, you just have to be willing to give it an effort, I guess, to give it a try. Shelters all across the nation have a goal for their animals to be adopted into a loving environment. Adoption gives these furry friends a second chance to find a home that's right for them. For CHS TV with photojournalist Suzu Gruskin, I'm Darby Lee. Thank you, Darby. High school students who want to visit colleges for tours or information sessions aren't able to do so at the moment. Fortunately, the NACAC has a solution. They've scheduled a series of virtual college fairs this spring that all students can attend for free without leaving home. See School Loop for more information and a schedule of events. See the CHS, uh, CHS Athletics website for more details about important upcoming sports dates and trial information. You can now access graduation banners on the Lancer web store. For more information, see the flyer on School Loop. The Lancer Athletics Apparel Shop is now open online. Anyone interested in supporting our Lancers in style can now access the Lancer Athletics Shop. A portion of the money supports CHS Athletics programs so make sure to check out School Loop for a link. For a second break in the announcements, Wendy Maddox has an update on course selection. Let's take a look. Hi Lancers, my name is Wendy. And my name is Taylor, and we are here to give you some information on course selection for the 2021 to 2022 school year. Before beginning the course selection process, be aware of the course entry deadlines by grade level. If your course entry deadline has passed, be sure to reach out to your counselor for assistance. To begin the course selection process, open the CHS School Loop homepage and select Departments. Then, click Counseling in the drop-down menu and click Course Selection Information. Before selecting your classes, be sure to tune into your grade level orientation to learn more about Carlsbad High School. After listening to your orientation, counselors recommend looking at the Academic Planning Guide, which offers descriptions of all the courses at Carlsbad High School. Another good resource for course information is the Virtual Course Video Library, which can be found on the Counseling Department homepage. The Video Library showcases videos describing the CHS classes for next year. Once you know the courses that you want to add to your schedule, complete the course selection form. After completing the course selection form, you will receive an email with an attachment providing your course selections, which you can then enter into your ARIES portal. When you are logged into ARIES, click the Classes tab and select Course Request Entry, where you will be able to submit your classes to the Counseling Department. If you have further questions regarding the course selection process, CHS Counselor Mrs. Howard offers some advice for all grade levels. Again, on that Counseling Department website, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see how to make an appointment with your counselor, and you can select that link and make an appointment directly with us through our calendar. Thank you for listening, and for CHS TV with Taylor Lohmeyer, I'm Wendy Maddox. Thank you, Wendy. Carlsbad Lancers, make sure to turn in your course selection forms. Cal State San Marcos is hosting a virtual hackathon for high school students April 17th through April 24th. 
The event is open to all grade levels. See the flyer on School Loop for more details. Register by April 2nd. All sports played in the new gym and the field will now be live streamed by CHS TV. The link can be found on chstv.com. The students will, have an, students will have an opportunity to travel with teachers and their peers from Carlsbad during a once in a lifetime 11 day trip to Europe during the summer of 2022. There is limited space available on a first come first serve basis. All parents of interested students must attend an informational meeting. This month's registration includes a discount and a no obligation registration until August 1st. Meeting details are on Tuesday, March 23rd at 6.30 p.m. Now we have Caden live on the Magic Window with information on high school sports this year. Caden. Thank you, Ben, and that's right, Carl's But If you didn't know already, high school sports are back. They were approved to return back in February, and they're going to be separated into two distinct seasons. Now for season one, we have sports like football, girls, volleyball, cross country, swim, and dive. And uh, for season one, these are the sports that were moved, approved to move back to the spring for a reduced season in order to be able to play. Now for season two, we have pretty much every other sport, including basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, soccer, everything else. Um, these are going to be playing a full season throughout the spring. Now what this means for the players is they will have to follow COVID guidelines, including wearing masks, masks on the sideline and for some sports wearing masks during play. They will also have to be tested throughout the season to ensure they stay negative and do not infect other players. Uh, on CHS TV here, we will keep you updated, of course, as always, and that's all I have for today. Back to Ben at the desk. Thanks, Caden. The San Marcos Promise is hosting their third annual TSMP Future Fair from March 22nd through March 26th. This is an online summit for students to explore various career paths and opportunities in today's workforce. Participants will connect with colleges, universities, and other post-secondary training programs from around the country, as well as professionals from all types of industries. See School Loop for the link to the flyer. Are you planning to transfer after community college? The Miracosta Transfer Counselor will be hosting a series of free webinars to answer any questions you may have and provide helpful tips for transferring. See the flyer on School Loop for the dates. With spring break coming up and tourists coming out to our beaches, the surf and the weather in the next few weeks will be very important. Now live from the coast, we have live we have Lily via satellite to close out our show. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here live at Offshore Beach. As the weather warms up today, it'll also be warming up in the next coming weeks towards spring break. That means that states like Arizona spring breakers are going to be coming to Carlsbad, getting away from the heat. And that'll be really good for small businesses in Carlsbad Village and also good for student workers. That's all I have for you today, Carlsbad, and I'm going to send it back to Ben at the desk. Thank you, Lily. That's all we have for you today, Carlsbad. Thanks for tuning in. Tuning in. Make sure to stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our live broadcast today. Remember, you can follow us on social media and watch any of our past broadcasts at chstv.com. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.